What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Far Rock 22M, aka Infamous Owen, Infamous underscore Owen on IG. This is gonna be one of those story time uh videos, real quick. You know, inspired by my man LG Larry from Corona. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you know, you should tell this story on your page. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna tell you. So I'm gonna tell y'all the story. So we was having a conversation about guns. But like, you know, gun violence in a um like in a crazy way. Like basically, you know, gun safety and things like that, and people who have died by, you know, not knowing how to handle a gun or not knowing the knowledge of a gun. They just think like, you know, it's just clack clack and shoot. You know, there's a lot of mechanics to that. But anyway, so I was telling him a story about how one of my friends, he's resting in peace right now, you know what I'm saying? But um, how he almost shot my head off when we was kids. And crazy thing is that if I didn't have the knowledge that I had back then, I would have got killed. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to be cool playing with guns. So I'm a fast forward, I'm gonna I'm a backtrack to when I learned about this, right? So when I was younger, you know, living on New Haven, there used to be a, um, I don't know if he was security or a policeman, but they used to patrol my building, you know, and he was armed, you know, so he looked like a cop, you know, he had a badge and everything, you know, I, so far back then, it was kind of hard to understand, but if you would have asked me, I would have thought this dude was a cop, but he was armed security, I believe, I don't know. But anyway, I had an infatuation, I had, a, I said infatuation, I had an infatuation with guns. You know, as a kid, you know, when you in the hood, you watch those hood movies, you know, you play with cap guns. You know, you kind of take a liking to these things, you know, to these pistols and stuff like that. I mean, I just, that was me, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all made paper guns, you know, cops and robbers. Anyway, when we used to be in front of the building or the back of the building, you know, always wanted to see the gun. Like, Yo, let me see your gun, let me see your gun. You know, he he never show us the gun. Like, you know, like I remember one time he took the clip out and let us see the bullets and all of that. So that right there was just like, oh, okay, all right. So I guess he must have recognized that. Like, yo, Shorty might be on to something. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and educate him early. You know what I'm saying? Because I guess he must have seen that I had an infatuation. He he recognized that. So I'll never forget, right? I was probably about nine years old when this was going down right so i never forget probably 10 i don't know nine or ten one of those years i was very young so i remember um i was outside i was like one of the only kids really outside at the time everybody i guess must have been in the back of the building and i'm probably coming through the front of the building so he calls me he's like yo come here so i'm like yo what's up he's like yo um let me talk to you for a second shorty um i'm gonna you know what I mean? So he, he, we walk into the building and we go into uh, the maintenance office. And next thing you know, I'm wondering like, okay, what are we going to the maintenance office for? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a little crazy right here. This is a little creepy. You know, I, you know I'm thinking this as a kid, like, yo, what the? F so he goes to the office. He sits in the super's uh, desk. You know what I'm saying? He pulls out his, his service weapon. The arm, he had a he had a Glock, and he took the clip out, and he handed it to me. He goes, you know, get that, you know, get that that uh, get that addiction off of you. You know what I'm saying? Play around with that, and you know what I'm saying because you you too you too infatuated with this shit. So I'm like, wow. So I took the gun, and I pointed it at the wall, right, and. Once I put my finger on that trigger, he, I guess, must have thought, like, oh, snap. He damn near jumped across the desk and said, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And he took the gun, he wrapped it back, and he, let, and he dropped a uh, bullet out of it. So he was like, yo, always make sure that, you know, the chamber is cleared. Even when you take the clip out, I forgot that I had one in the chamber. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... Huh? You know what I mean? So he's like, listen, you know, he's showing me like when you rack it, you put one in the chamber or whatever. He's like, now when you take the clip out, there's always going to be that one in the chamber. You always got to make sure there's not a bullet in the chamber. 
You know, when you, you got to clean your gun, basically. So anyway, long story short, um, I, I was dry shooting it. He even taught me how to take it apart and everything. You know, I learned how to take a Glock apart at the age of like nine years old. Put it back together. You know what I mean? I did that, I did that like three or four times. And you know, like I said, I was dry shooting it. You know, like, all right, finally, I got to really hold a pistol. You know what I'm saying? Like really get to play with one. And fast forward, right? You know, thank God I had that knowledge because fast forward, like probably like the next year, so I'm probably like 10, 11, my man probably like 12, 13, because I think he got two years on me, like one and a half really, but it's always going to show like two years he got over me. So, um, yeah, we was real young. So he had um, his like uncle's 380, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, it's a nice 380. I think this is the year that Bursa first started coming out with, with the um, 380s or whatever. It was, I think it was a Bursa because the way I remember it looked like the BB guns, the Zebras we used to have. And that's like a Bursa or Walter, Walter, whatever. So anyway, um, so we, you know, we playing with it, you know what I'm saying? And like, I can remember that gun was brand new because it was so hard to, to cock it back. It was so hard to rack it. Um, or maybe we was just young and weak, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know. Now, any gun out of the box is not that hard to rack, you know what I'm saying? But I guess we was just young. But anyway, long story short, he um, racked it, but he didn't pull it all the way back. He just did one of the little quick rack, like, click, and he pointed it at my head. And he said something like, yeah, mother, you know, and, I'm, and I grabbed the gun. I'm, I grabbed it down. I'm like, yo, what you doing? He goes, yo, what's your problem, man? Ain't no bullet in there. I'm like, yo, bro. The clip is in the gun. He's like, nigga, I ain't pull it back all the way. What you talking about? I say, yo, bro, there's probably a bullet in that chamber, my dude. Just cause you ain't rack it back all the way. Cause we was dry shooting it before. But when he put that clip in and he did that little, that little, that little, that little cop back to make it sound like it, but he ain't think he racked it all the way. Uh-uh. So I'm like, yo, and it, 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 I remembered everything. So I grabbed the gun. I'm like, yo, hold on a second. I took the clip out and I pulled that slide back and what was there? There was a bullet in the chamber. My man looked at me like, yo, I'm so sorry, man. Yo, I'm sorry. I'm like, yo, bro, what you would have told my moms, man? You know what I mean? Like, what you would have told my brothers? What you would have told my moms, man? You would have blown my head off in here. You know what I'm saying? And we just young and ignorant, like, you know, I was mad, but it's like, we're going to go back outside and play. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, yo, bro, you almost killed me today. But luckily, somebody sat me down and showed me gun safety. Because if I didn't know that, I would have lost my life that day. If I would have never just, you know what I'm saying? Even if I didn't know that, you know, if I just wanted to just, you know, did that alone, some that gun would have went off. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. I'm just saying, I feel like, whether you have something legal or illegal in your house, you better show your young ones how to use it and how not to use it. Because there's been a lot of cases where kids found their parents' guns, found their brother's guns, found their cousin's guns, and playing with it like a toy gun, someone gets hurt or someone gets killed. So, you know, I would just say this, especially in our communities, especially in the democratic communities, like in New York and all that, guns are like a taboo, you know, and I don't want to like to get political like that, but democratic states don't like guns. So some of us are taught to be like, guns are bad, you know what I'm saying? But drugs is okay. But if you go to the Republican states, you know, guns are good, but drugs are really bad. You know, it's crazy. But um, anyway, Gun safety is very important. And I say this, whether it's illegal or legal, you should still have knowledge on what you're dealing with. And the people around you should have knowledge on what you're dealing with. Because at the end of the day, someone could get hurt. I almost got hurt. So that's the story. You know, rest in peace to my man. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, put his business out there. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he still got family. Some people may not. If you know, you know. People know the story. People know who it is. But 
you know, just out of respect, I'd rather not. My man resting in peace right now, and that's what it is. But we was real young playing with guns. And like I said, I was like, I was like nine when I learned that knowledge. And I'm in the following year, everything hit me. And if that didn't happen, I wouldn't be here talking to y'all. So yo, like, share, subscribe, you know, drop a comment. Let me know if y'all had any, you know, close calls, things like that. Um, donate if you want to, cash app, dollar sign, Sandman O, you know what I'm saying? But most importantly, like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Oh yeah, special shout out to the ones that donate, that sent me cash apps, you know, positive comments, but don't think that those donations don't go unnoticed. I really appreciate it. Every little bit helps, you know. And, um, yo, special shout outs to y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put everybody's names in business out there unless y'all want me to. But I dead ass appreciate y'all. Good looking on that. For real, for real. Like, for real.